What's up garden people? Today we're going to continue along the gardening journey. I'm going to first start off this video in the front entryway garden. It's about late September, early October for this time period that we're covering. Um, we're going to attempt to document what we can here as far as uh, where I put some of these plants. Um, particularly all the, the different varieties of Gora uh, that I picked up through plant shopping. That right there in the middle is blue kazoo spirea. We'll see how it's doing next season, I think. We'll give it another season and see if it does okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but other than that, the silver mound artemisia has been doing great. Um, the annuals are still kind of going. Little Alberta spruce in the middle there. They're doing fine. Um, but everything else is doing great. These oh, castle spire holly trees, amazing berries. That are forming up um, so yeah so this front entry is forming up and we're just gonna continue along the gardening journey and get some some planting and projects done So it feels good to get these plants into the ground all tucked in for the winter. Um, it's pretty much a mad dash fall planting to get as much as I can get into the ground before the winter comes, unless I have to take care of in the greenhouse, the cold frame, the better off it'll be for me. <laughs> so this task is done and on to the next. Next up is the dog area. We're gonna get it all mulched up more closer to the house. We already planted everything up in the previous video, so I'm gonna continue along. Um, mostly I'm using cardboard here because it is the dog area. I'm putting down mulch, I'm not trying to plant in it. I'd use paper bags if it was like in the garden bed itself I was gonna do planting into, but for underneath mulch, the uh, cardboard is just fine and it'll break down fairly quickly in our humid type area anyways.
to add more grasses to this area. Just more grasses. <laughs> and everything seems to be doing well and as far as the plantings go. Uh, rosemary got pulled a little, but other than that, everything's been doing pretty well. And on to the next project, behind the raised bed garden. Um, there's a massive weed jungle, so we took care of that. And then we got these evergreens into the ground. We've got a mix of camellias and uh, viburnum. Um, it's a new one. And those get fairly skinny, so the camellias I can kind of limb up and the raised beds can kind of push forward a little bit. Um, you know, as time as time allows, we'll tackle those projects, but it felt really great to get all these projects tackled. All right, so I hope you enjoy your own gardening journey and thanks for coming along on mine.